Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. And today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss another image classification use case. And this particular use case we are going to solve using simple image processing, no machine learning, no deep learning like that. Okay, you can use advanced techniques, but with this simple technique also, how we can solve this kind of image processing related use case, that's what I am going to show you. Okay. So for this particular discussion purpose, I have taken an image which is present in MATLAB database itself. So you no need to take from external world. So I have first read this image using im read function. And then let me first show that image im show rgb. Okay. So if I just run control A and evaluate selection, I'll be getting this particular beautiful image. Okay. So you can see that here in this image, there are different shape, the different objects present which is having different shape. Like this is a square object, this, this is kind of bottle shape, irregular shape object, and these are circular objects. Okay. Now suppose the problem statement for the classification is separate all the circular shape objects from the other shape. Okay. Like for example, uh, from this particular image, you have to generate two image in which uh, among those two in one image there should be only the circular objects and in other image there should be the other shape objects like square shape and this one okay this is the problem statement now this is clear that shape will be our main point of interest or uh, as a feature extraction technique we need to extract the shape based some features okay and we have to solve this problem so you can pause my video and try to think about the solution and try to implement something in MATLAB and check whether you are getting that or not. Here I am explaining. Okay. So what is the first step? So already in my previous video, if you have seen this one, identify round objects in MATLAB. I have discussed a beautiful relationship here. If you see this one, that for a circular object, this is the relationship present that is 4 pi. 4 into pi into area by perimeter square approximately equal to 1, which is not uh, correct for other shapes, right? So, what we will try to do, we will try to calculate the area and perimeter and then we will try to compute the ratio and we will be basically making a threshold value and uh, something uh, close to some objects which is having the this particular value close to 1, those will be considering a circular object and the rest of this will be other steps okay so let us go like that way so what is the step one as you have seen that this particular image is nothing but rgb color image okay so we need to first generate the binary image from this so what i will do maybe uh, i can give any name i am very bad in giving variable name if you want you can give some proper justified name i am giving this normal name ms equal to our uh, function to convert from RGB to gray scale is RGB to gray and then here I will be taking this one and I will be pasting it here. Now this will convert RGB to gray then we have to binarize also to get the binary image. So I am binarize okay and I will write it. So what I will do I will give next style here so that all the images can be displayed in a single window like subplot. Okay, and here MS. Okay, here I can give the title as original image, and here I will be copying this particular title. I'll be pasting here, and this I can give the name as processed image. Okay. So let us run this particular piece of code and let us see how we are getting. So here actually I have given rocks with the big style. So we will be getting this two image. So this is our original image, this is our processed image. So at the first glance we can easily see that they are here some unnecessary dots are coming similarly around the objects if you see this particular in the borderline there some unnecessary uh, binary objects are coming so let us first remove those so what i will do bw area open so we will be keeping only those objects which is having values more than uh, maybe 10 pixels 
and we will try to remove those unnecessary components and let us see whether this threshold value is good or not no because if you see still this in this border line these two lines are present so maybe we can increase this to 50 okay considering other objects will be having more value so yep now our this particular uh, image is almost processed but if we see carefully if I just uh, zoom this particular piece of part in the bottle in this cap part and in the bottle part there is very little connectivity so let us first close this one okay so what I will do maybe I am close I can apply for closing purpose and structuring element let us take a very small structuring element so mm, maybe this shape I can take with very small radius okay let us see whether that bottle part is properly getting closed or not yes so we have got our this particular image okay now the idea is very simple we will basically apply this particular formula that is we try to calculate area and perimeter but before going to that I have told you while discussing this particular shape based uh, object detection I have clearly mentioned that makes you you are filling all the holes because if you consider this circle and this circle that particular formula that is 4 pi area by perimeter square will hold but for this one actually when it will try to when you will try to calculate area it will just calculate the pixels which are present on this particular perimeter side only no, it will not consider the inner part so we have to fill this hole okay so that's what I will just do that I am fill and then here I will simply write holes okay so we are doing hole filling and let us run this particular piece of code and we will be getting this one so if you see now our intention is fulfilled so this particular this particular and this one and this one are circular objects so we have to bring these four objects in one image and these two other shapes in other image based on that particular formula which is uh, 4 into pi into area by uh, perimeter square now what is the meaning of code reusability that is you write your code one time use it in your different different projects multiple times so what i will do i will just simply go to here and i will be taking that particular piece of code which is doing the circularity work okay so if you see that here we are filling the holes first and then here we are leveling so till hole filling we have completed in our this use case also so maybe we can start taking the piece of code from here okay So I just want to show you how we can make the code reusable. So here X is our uh, processed image but here actually this name is MS. So maybe I can change the name as MS. Okay. So we are labeling that and then from, from for different binary image what is the area and perimeter we are trying to compute. And then here as we know that num this second parameter output parameter of bw level function will return how many binary objects present so we are iterating that many number of times we are calculating this circularity factor which is 4 into pi into uh, area uh, property of that particular binary object divided by perimeter square and we are putting that particular threshold which is if it is greater than equal to 0 0.94 which we have chosen in our earlier video also what we are doing we are basically storing this uh, those binary objects in separate image which is called process so maybe what we can do just little bit addition I can do process circular okay this is circular image so zeros okay so maybe first we have to take the total number of rows and columns of uh, this image uh, size of here here also instead of x we have to write ms size of ms okay and then here that many number of zero matrix we have to generate a okay and then same object will be same shape zero matrix we will be creating for non circular object maybe other I can give the name okay then if circularity is greater than 0 0.94 greater than equal to 0 0.94 that time we are putting all those objects in process circular image Okay. Else, what we'll do, we'll put those in process other. Okay. Same type of code. Process other equal to process other plus this particular one. Okay. 
and then here I will just copy next style here I will paste it process circular okay you can give the title as circular objects okay I will be copying this particular same piece of code I will be pasting here process other I will be copying and I can give the name other objects okay maybe you can give the name better way let us run this and let us see whether we are getting an error or not if we are getting an error we will be trying to modify yep our job is done and this is how we can make the same code multiple times in different projects okay so if you see this is our original image this is our processed image this is our circular object so this particular threshold value generally you should take as uh, trial and error method that is what should be the proper threshold value you should, you should choose it is approximately one four pi area by pi uh, perimeter square is should be one for circular object but as we are computing in terms of image pixel so you might not get exact one value that's why we are choosing this particular threshold now this this threshold you have to tune based on your use case okay but uh, 0 0.94 works good for our use case also maybe what we can do we can display the uh, circularity factor on this particular image which can be useful in uh, our uh, threshold decision okay so let me write some more piece of code which will display the circularity factor on these different objects okay that is in text format i want to display this let us do that also so that will i will do a new figure window okay and let me store the circularity somewhere circularity factor equal to one empty matrix we are splitting and we will basically store the circularity whatever we are computing in this line and we will put in this array okay right so what it will what the circularity factor is stored so as you can see it, it, this particular r will keep on iterating uh, from 1 to num when num is storing number of binary objects so for uh, each label that is label 1 the circularity will be stored in the first value of the circularity factor array then for label 2 whatever the binary object is present and for that whatever circularity is present that will be stored in the second element of the circularity factor array like that okay because like that only we are iterating now what we can do if you see another video that display numeric labels associated with each labeled object here i have discussed how you can display something on top of any image as a text format okay like for example see this particular at the end result we got this where we try to display the labels but in this video instead of labels we will try to display the circularity factor so maybe here from here we can take the piece of code and here as you can see after labeling this is the part where it is started so i will be just copying this particular piece of code with control c and here i will paste control v okay and then here so if you see this particular code a is storing the labeled image b is storing total number of objects okay but here we have given the name as what l and num so maybe a equal to l we can give here okay and num equal to uh, b equal to num so that the code which we have copied will be taking this this particular variables and it can work well also okay so basically here center of x center of y we are calculating the centroid locations right and then we are uh, calculating the center of mass using the mean of rows and columns and then let me display the image also i am so maybe in ms i can do and then here hold on we are doing and num to string what we want to display we want to display the circularity factor so that is basically stored in the circularity factor matrix circularity factor of k okay and maybe if we want we can give this label to rgb because ms is a labeled image is it 
MS is a labeled image. No, MS is a normal image actually, so label to RGB will not work anyway. Mm, maybe we can give the name as A. Let us see. Because A is the labeled image. Label to RGB. Some more error we are getting here. Maybe one more bracket close. I have yeah. and see how beautifully it is storing the uh, circularity factor in different different uh, binary objects. Like for this one, one point zero zero three six. This one, one point zero six one. This is having 0 0.78. See, square object and irregular shape object is having very less circularity. For other objects, it is very high. Okay. So, just I wanted to show you this particular use case. I will be posting the code in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can go through that. So, this is how you can do image classification related use cases and using simple image processing, you can solve this. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.